Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Lindsey Graham, the senator from South Carolina, who made some statements last night that are certain to draw the attention of the international community and are certain to be replayed over and over and over again in one country in particular. The senator got on national TV last night and basically called for the oligarchs in Russia to Julius Caesar Putin. And he, he was really clear about it. Um, so, right now, as you're watching this, people in Russia are undoubtedly watching a U.S. official call for the removal of their head of state. This is something that could possibly rally support behind him. It could convince Russia that they are actually in a existential battle for their country. Something that isn't actually occurring. The senator, knowingly or not, produced some some footage that will be used for propaganda purposes within Russia. That's what he did. Why? Why would he make this claim? Why would he say this? To look tough. It's posturing here at home. And he doesn't have any apparent understanding of the impacts this is going to have overseas. You know, it's, it's hard for the West to condemn Putin sending a team after Zelensky when we have a senator in the United States asking for that to happen over there. Russia will undoubtedly double their efforts to take out Zelensky now. On top of this, what was it supposed to accomplish? He was addressing the oligarchs, Putin's inner circle, and asking them to do it. Because the oligarchs need Lindsey Graham, the great senator from South Carolina. They need him to tell them when it's time to do this? I don't think so. On top of this, the, the fact that they absolutely do not need his advice. They're pretty sharp. They wouldn't have survived long enough to be at the top if they weren't. So aside from it being completely unneeded there, it causing an international incident, and it probably putting Zelensky in, in jeopardy, there's also the other side to this. There's a pretty good chance that some of the oligarchs are, were already thinking about this. But see, now Putin has footage of a U.S. government official calling for it. What do you think is going to happen to his security? It's probably going to get a little bit tighter, right? Because now they're not concerned about the possibility of maybe one of the oligarchs, you know, kind of losing their taste for this. They're concerned about a U.S. operation. So they're going on high alert. Lindsey Graham made it a whole lot harder for that to happen. And he did it for votes. He did it to get on TV and seem tough. Statements here from leading officials, they have impacts. This isn't a conflict with a minor power. 
This is a conflict with a major power. The habit that arose under Trump of saying the most inflammatory stuff possible in order to get views, retweets, or whatever. Oh yeah, on top of saying it live, he also tweeted out the same stuff. Um, that, that little habit, it needs to stop. Stakes are a whole lot higher now. This is going to be Russian propaganda. It is going to be on TV. I assure you, as you're watching this, it's on TV over there. There are a whole lot of people in the U.S. government that need to learn that they need to be quiet. There are, uh, there are, I actually believe there are laws about this. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not actually legally allowed to even suggest what he suggested. Um, and again, it doesn't even matter if you agree with what he said. Some things can't be said by certain people. If you're a U.S. government official and there are heightened tensions, generally speaking, it is totally uncool to suggest the removal of a foreign head of state. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why. It made it harder for the oligarchs to act if, if they chose to. They certainly didn't need Lindsey Graham to tell them to do it. And he produced propaganda that can be used to further the war effort for them. That's what he actually accomplished in his quest to look tough. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.